We've been focusing on series as a way to think about certain functions. Let's review what we have covered so far and where we need to go. Some of the simple series that we have looked at are the series for e to the x, that is 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial, x cubed over 3 factorial, keep going. We've looked at a series for cosine of x. That consists of the even terms of the exponential series, but alternating plus minus plus minus. The series for sine of x, likewise, consists of the odd terms of the exponential series, again, alternating plus minus plus minus. What we have found is that we can compactly encode this using summation notation. So for the exponential series, we have the sum k goes from 0 to infinity, x to the k, over k factorial. For cosine of x, we have the sum k goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k, divided by 2k factorial. And for sine of x, we have the sum k goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the k, x to the 2k plus 1, divided by quantity 2k plus 1 factorial. Now these are all pretty important to our story. It would be a good idea to memorize these three series. But we're not done. What do we do now? Well, let's see if we can take what we know about these three series and get others, combine them in some way. For example, what is 1 over e to the x? Well, if I just write down what that literally is, it is 1 divided by 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial. Now, this is kind of complicated. In particular, it is not a series. It is not a long polynomial. It's got that guy in the reciprocal. That's no good. Oh, wait a minute. If we remember our exponent laws, we can get somewhere. Because 1 over e to the x is really e to the minus x. And what is e to the minus x? Well, I know what e to anything is. In this case, e to the minus x is 1 minus x plus x squared over 2 factorial minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial. Keep going, keep going. It would be very instructive for you to write this out in summation notation in order to practice. Okay, well, now that we've done that, I bet we can do a lot more. What's 1 over cosine of x? That is literally 1 divided by 1 minus x squared over 2 plus x to the 4th over 24. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, uh, what do I do? Uh, maybe, maybe I should just uh, follow the same pattern. Take the cosine series and just flip all the signs to be alternating? But they started off alternating. I don't know. No, that's not going to work. Um, I don't know. Is this, is this cosine of 1 over x? No, it's not. It's not. This is secant of x. And I, I don't really know where else to go. I think we're going to need a better approach if we want to derive more series. There's only so much that we can do with the exponential series as our foundation. The good news is we are going to be able to do a lot more.